Hello fellow YouTubers, this time I'm going to be doing a performance comparison of i3-2100 CPU versus i5-2400. This is Lenovo ThinkCenter with 16 gigs of RAM and this is Asus P8Zx68 VLX based um, setup with the 12 gigs of RAM, okay? 4x4, 2x4 plus 2x2 gigs of RAM. Um, this one has an SSD, this one is running on 7200 RPM drive but for the CPU performance comparison they're gonna be running nearly exactly the same anyway so this is my setup this one is my Z68 screen picture in picture, just to show you there guys there we go, off, on and this one is the Q67 which is Lenovo um, PC okay so the first is CPU-Z I'm going to show you quickly both setups what are they made of okay so first let's focus on this one It's as you see, Core i5 2400. Everything stock, main board Lenovo, memory 16 gigs running at 665 uh, dual channels, so 1333 megahertz. Um, what else do we have here? Slot 1, 4 gigs, slot 4, 4, and all of them 4 gigs. Okay, graphics doesn't display properly. They both uh, the Q67 and the Z68 chipset based and the both CPUs are running same graphics core now let's see here we have 2100 core i3 stock mainboard ASUS P8Z68 VLX memory 12 gigs okay um, 2 in the first slot 4 in the second 2 in the third and 4 in the fourth graphics again and um, doesn't display properly okay so the first test I'm gonna run will be performance test 64 bit by the way both systems are running 64 bit operating system Windows 7 professional to be exact there we go continue I'm gonna run just selected uh, benchmarks such as CPU and memory mark See how we go on time, and we're gonna run something for graphics as well. So CPU run, CPU run, and we're gonna speed up the video here and come back to the results. And we're back. So I'm just gonna show you there the. CPU mark returned with 6500 on this system and I hope you guys can see that with 4200 on the other system so one and a half times difference I'm gonna zoom out a bit and we're gonna do a um, quick 2D and 3D benchmark so 2D graphics all 2D all you know what, I'm going to skip actually the 3D because it's irrelevant, we're just doing comparison for the video encoding, so 2D will be as far as I go. I'm going to do a quick memory check as well. And we're done. So if we look at 2D graphics mark on this system, it's 391. And on that... 781. There you go, guys. Go figure. Um, can't really explain the results like that. Why? There you go. Numbers speak for themselves. Gonna zoom out. And we can going to do memory mark as well. And we're done. 
So if we look here on the Q67, 3683 and Z68, 2757. Now, the difference is because Q67, although running on lower frequencies, running Kingston Gray series RAM, and the Z68 is running just some generic RAM. Um, so maybe that's why. Next, we're going to do Prime 95. Okay, so we're going to focus on four threads, multi-threaded performance, zoom in a bit, as you see, two versus four and so on and so forth, finishing with 27, nearly 28 versus 53, 54, so one and a half to twice the performance difference, guys, quite a bit, I must say. Now mind you, these are the synthetic benchmarks, it depends on the application you're using and how well it's utilizing all the threads that your CPU has to offer. And the very last benchmark, we're going to run the video encoding one, which is probably the most important for me. So there you go guys, absolutely crawling performance in comparison of the 2100 versus 2400 um, Intel Sandy Bridge CPU. I'm going to close this down, 2400 DOM at 137 FPS pass 1 and 27 FPS pass 2 on average. Let's see here, I'm going to increase the font a little bit. So, 137, 138 nearly frames per second and 27 frames per second versus 89, 90 frames per second and 16.7, 17 you can say frames per second. So no brainer for me. Um, I'm definitely going with the i5 2400 CPU for video encoding. Okay. Um, and that sums it up guys, um, um, thanks for watching, if you liked the video, please subscribe and thumbs up. Um, also if you have any questions, queries or something that you didn't like, uh, please f feel free to leave comments in the comment section down below. And that is all, thanks for watching.